Hey, I'm Paul. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to show you guys a really quick setup on how to record your screencasts where you can record the microphone input and the application that's playing back, whether it's an editing application for audio or video. And I also want to show you how you can not only record it, but you could also listen to both your microphone and your application playing back in your headphones. Also, I want to show you real quick how to clean up your desktop without actually moving anything. And all of this is free. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you want to do is head over to the Mac App Store. And if you want to just type in um, hide icons and you'll see some app come up that says hidden me, you can go ahead and click and download that. And that'll give you the ability to just click and hide your desktop icons. And you don't have to even move anything. It's just going to clean your desktop up and that way you can record with a nice clean background. Next thing you want to do is do a Google search for a black hole and you can download that um, by providing your email address. Once you get an email link back from them, you're going to have three options, two channels, 16 channels and 64 channels. For this example, we're just going to install black hole two channels. Now, the next step is go to your applications folder, go to the utilities folder and open up audio MIDI setup. And here's where we're going to set up basically our input and our output for recording. Next, you wanna set up an aggregate device. And here, we're going to select black hole first. Make sure you put black hole first. And then you're gonna select whatever your microphone input is. In my particular case, we're gonna be using the Scarlett 2i2. That's it for that. Now, what I like to do here is I like to label this quick time record 2i2 so that I know what input microphone input is being recorded. Okay, so right after this step, you're able to record your microphone input and whichever application you want to route. But the problem would be is that you won't be able to hear the application playback in your headphones. And if that's okay with you, then you're good right here. But if you want to be able to hear what you're recording and playback the application and hear that in your headphones, then we got to take the next step. All right, so next we're going to create a multi output device. So here I already have the Scarlet selected and we're going to go ahead and select black hole. And if I wanted to, I can select any other device that I want to be able to listen to. All right. So here I like to label this QuickTime record app output. All right, let's open up QuickTime and set that up. Okay. You open up QuickTime and you select new screen recording and you go to the options on the bar that pops up and you make sure you're set to QuickTime Record 2i2 in my particular case, because that's the device that I'm using. And then that's all you have to do for QuickTime. And then you can select if you want to record a certain part of the screen or you can select full screen. Then you get this little camera that pops up. As soon as you click, you started recording. All right, so I'm going to use OSIN audio and a piece of audio that I've already recorded to test our settings. I'm going to hit play right now, and I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to hear it, but you won't. All right, so I was able to hear that. You guys probably didn't because QuickTime is probably not recording it. And here's where things can start getting frustrating, but you don't have to get frustrated because it's not that difficult. Just go to the application preferences and we're gonna tell the audio where to go. So we'll go to sound and we're gonna go to the playback settings. See how it's set to Scarlet. So basically the audio is only going to my output device. And here, what you wanna do is you wanna set it to the output device, the multi output device that we created. And I should be able to play it now. I should be able to hear it in the headphones and you guys should be able to hear it because QuickTime will record it. Recording a piece of audio so that we can sample our screen recording setup. All right, so pretty much that's it. But let me show you something else. Maybe you have multiple devices or multiple microphones or whatever that you wanna use and you don't wanna come in here and start changing settings and then getting things confused. So what I suggest is to go ahead and make another aggregate device and in this one, you set black hole first, and then you set your other device. In this particular case, I'm gonna set this to SSL2, and I'm gonna pretty much label it the same way. Quick time, record, SSL2. And that way I have a setting for each device that I use. All right, so that's it. I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Good luck, stay healthy, and stay safe.